Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you subscribe to a QuickBooks Online payroll service, you can create pay schedules when you initially create the employees. You can later edit an employee to select a different pay schedule if needed or create a new pay schedule. To change an employee's pay schedule or create a new pay schedule, edit the employee's record for the employee whose pay schedule you want to change. Then click the Edit link in the upper right corner of the Employment Details section to show the Employment Details window. To select a different pay schedule that exists, select it from the Pay Schedule dropdown. Alternatively, to create a new pay schedule and assign it to the employee, select the Add Pay Schedule choice from this dropdown instead to open a Pay Schedule window. To set the pay frequency for the new pay schedule, select a choice from the Pay Frequency dropdown. To set the date of the next payday for this new pay schedule, select a date from the Next Payday calendar date selector. To set the end of the next pay period for this new pay schedule, select a date from the End of Next Pay Period calendar date selector. Then type a name for the new pay schedule into the Pay Schedule Name field. To set this pay schedule as the default for new employees you add, check the Use this pay schedule for employees you add after this one checkbox. The Upcoming Pay Periods chart at the right side of the window shows the upcoming pay periods and their associated paydays for this pay schedule so you can make sure you have the correct dates selected. To then save the new pay schedule, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the Add a Pay Schedule window. Alternatively, to cancel it, click the Cancel button. Either way, you then return to the Employment Details window and the new pay schedule also appears as the selected choice in the Pay Schedule dropdown. You may need to change this setting if this is incorrect for this employee. To save the changes to the employee's record if needed, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the window when finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.